Nine minutes. That's all you need to learn how to go from one static image to a consistent cinematic AI video, completely free. The secret? Google's Nano Banana, a fast image model that remembers your character, scene after scene. It's not a video tool, but that's the point. You use it to build visual consistency, then bring it to life with AI video generation tools. In this video, we'll start with our character, build shot by shot, and turn a few images into something that actually feels cinematic, and the part most people skip. It's the detail that quietly holds everything together, and almost no one talks about it. Let me show you. Nano Banana is built on Gemini's Flash model, Google's fast, lightweight image engine. But speed isn't the headline here. The real power is what it remembers. It keeps your character consistent across every scene. Same face, same outfit, even through wild background changes. That's what makes multi-panel storytelling possible. And the best part. You can access Nano Banana across most major AI tools. Design AI, Leonardo, and more. But if you want it free, there are some options. Google AI Studio gives you direct access. There's a watermark, and the generation count is limited. But it works, and it pairs beautifully with FreeVO2 if you're trying to stay fully in the Google stack. If you want the same engine without watermarks, head to LM Arena. Totally free. Let's see what that looks like. All right, first, we need our main character. And for this, I actually started with Midjourney, just because I love the aesthetic it brings to character design. You can use Nano Banana, Leonardo AI, or honestly, any image model you like, free or paid. The key is to create a clear, expressive character image. Here's the prompt I used. Beautiful young teen girl, 3D Pixar animation style, extra long, light brown hair flowing naturally, bright green eyes, flawless facial structure, full lips, wearing casual modern clothes, looking straight into the camera, standing in a schoolyard against a brick wall, cinematic lighting, highly detailed, Disney Pixar aesthetic. Once you've got your character locked in, save that image. That becomes your visual anchor for the entire story. Whatever tool you use, keep it simple and readable. Facial clarity, outfit detail and lighting tone all matter, especially when you start building scene continuity. Next up, we'll turn this single image into a full cinematic AI video. Now that we've got our main character, let's build the world around her. I'm calling this story Through the Wonder Gate. It's surreal, cinematic, and a perfect fit for Nano Banana's strengths. Here's the idea. A modern girl in a casual outfit walks up to a glowing poster on a brick wall, and every world beyond it bends reality a little more. But instead of thinking in images, we're going to think in shots, like a filmmaker would. And this is here a detail no one is talking about. For each scene, we plan three cinematic frames, a wide shot to set the space, a medium shot for movement or perspective, and a close-up to show emotion or detail. This structure gives your story rhythm. It makes your prompts clearer, and it helps AI tools like Nano Banana deliver cleaner, more consistent results. Now, if you don't want to plan every frame manually, here's a shortcut. You can ask ChatGPT to do the structure for you. Just type this. Create a three-scene visual story in the style of Alice in Wonderland. Each scene should include a wide shot, a medium shot, and a close-up using cinematic composition. The story should have a surreal, whimsical tone and be written in a way that can be easily turned into AI image prompts. ChatGPT will break it down scene by scene, shot by shot. It'll give you prompts like Wide shot. Girl stands before a glowing poster on a brick wall. Close-up. Her hand reaches out to touch the surface. Now you've got a mini shot list, built for prompting. All you have to do is feed them into Nano Banana. Let's build just one full scene together. Our girl's first step into the unknown. We'll build three shots, each using a prompt that matches cinematic framing. Shot one is your establishing shot. You're setting the world, mood and lighting, all from a distance. Shot two introduces movement. The shot gets closer. The moment starts to build. Shot three, this is a close-up. And this is your emotional anchor. It makes the moment intimate, real. Let's actually build that first frame using Nano Banana inside LM Arena completely free. Here's how. Go to lmarena.a. I make sure you selected image icon in prompting box. Click direct chat mode in the top menu. In the drop down, choose Gemini 2.5 flash. That's Nano Banana. Add your reference image we saved. Type your prompt for the wide shot. 
wide shot of a girl in a casual outfit standing in front of a glowing poster on a brick wall. Urban schoolyard, soft cinematic lighting. When it looks right, download the image. Ok, so we have one scene, three shots, with one consistent character. Now we've got something with depth, pacing and emotion. And all of it built with just text. Next, we'll turn this frame into a moving shot using video generation. Now we've got our keyframe. Let's animate it. We're using Kling Inside Design AI, which lets you bring static images to life with motion prompts. Here's the exact workflow. Go to Design AI Login and start a new project. Click AI Video in the sidebar under the Image to Video option. Choose your model. I'm going with Kling AI Pro. In the Start Frame tab, upload the image you generated with Nano Banana Dent. Type your animation prompt, something like The girl steps forward as the light from the poster flickers. Her hair sways gently. The background stays still. The key here is to describe the movement clearly, but keep it minimal. Small, believable motion works best to turn an image into something that feels alive. Set the video duration to about 5 seconds. Click Generate Preview the result. If it looks off, tweak your prompt and try again. When it's ready, export it as MP4 now. If you're looking for a free option, check out Veer. It's not as advanced as Clink, but it's great for simple motion loops and basic character movement. Here's how. Go to veer.com. Create a free account or open the image to video tool. Upload your image. Add your prompt. Don't forget to include basic camera movement. Adjust your settings. Click Generate and let it render. Download your video. It's quick, simple and surprisingly effective. Now you've got options. Clink for precision, veer for fast and free. And once you've built your visuals, tools like CapCut AI Video Maker make it super easy to pull everything together. Just paste your script, drop in your videos, and it'll generate captions, voiceover, and music for free. It's a smooth way to bring your short to life, even if you've never edited video before. Check the linked video for a full CapCut walkthrough. Or, if you're looking for something more advanced with lip sync, try the DreamFace app. And yes, Design AI also supports multi-character lip sync, right inside the same project flow. If you're deep in the Discord or Reddit threads, like me, you'll see this tools already got a small cult following. And a few patterns keep coming up, especially when it comes to keeping things consistent. Tip 1. Faces are king. If your character's outfit changes or the background shifts, don't panic. Just reprompt with return to same face. Keep casual outfit. Same lighting. Sometimes one nudge is all it takes. Tip 2. Keep your edits modular. Don't cram 10 ideas into one prompt. Go scene by scene, shot by shot. Show the model what you want, step by step, like a storyboard. Tip 3. Let the model handle the style. You don't have to describe every shadow or camera angle. Try phrases like storybook style, cinematic lighting or whimsical mood. That's usually enough to get consistent, creative results. Best tip I've seen, treat it like a conversation. The clearer you ask, the more likely the AI says yes. Now let's zoom out for a second. You just built a multi-scene cinematic story with zero layers, zero masks and no 3D rigging, all using nothing but natural language. You wrote a script, planned your shots, generated each scene and animated it, all with AI tools that are free or nearly free. The real magic of Nano Banana isn't just the images, it's the continuity, scene to scene, frame to frame, character intact, this isn't about making one cool picture, it's about building visual stories that actually hold together. If you build something with this, drop it in the comments, tag me. And if you want a follow-up tutorial on character design, animated loops or writing better AI prompts, hit that like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.